it's powerful, it's provocative and it's entirely necessary at this point in time. But I'm sure you'll agree he deserves one more big round of applause. Put your hands together for Darren McGarvey! So it's the book tries to sort of the book tries to not just talk about oh this is like in a scheme. It tries to say this is what it's like. This is why I, this is why we can't ascend. These are the things that hold us back from taking our rightful place in culture and showing the interiority of our working class existence is beyond more than just aggression and apathy and self defeating def- addictions and all of these things that are often associated with us and some of them are fair associations I would say but there's a whole other there's a whole community dynamic in working class life that as far as I can see doesn't doesn't exist to the same extent uh, in middle class communities and, and you know I try to talk, cover all that in the book these aren't cultures at different stages of maturity which is often assumed the working class culture being further back on the continuum ascending and aspiring to become middle class. These are parallel cultures that need to learn from each other, that exist parallel to each other, separated by a ravine of experience. And only by us crossing the ravine and really listening to each other will we be able to fill in the gaps in both of our knowledge that's holding us all back. And and that's that's where I'm at with it, you know. The book's not a weapon. The book's not a brick that you have to go and lob at the next vegan that you see in Byers Road. You know, the book is as critical of me and the way that I see things uh, as it is of society, of capitalism, of politicians. And I'm hoping that that spirit of self-reflection and self-criticism will be sufficient for the reader to lower their own guard and maybe start asking the question, uh, you know, where was I wrong in this? What could I do that would make things easier? for conversations that are difficult as opposed to always projecting outwards and expecting reality to conform to your own expectations. But I know that's not everybody's cup of tea.